Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Joni, the blogger behind SimpleLivingMama.com. In today's video, I'm sharing my fifth grader is using for his curriculum this homeschool year. So as I've mentioned in my previous videos, we switched to the Modern Mobilis um, Catholic Charlotte Mason free homeschool curriculum. It's been an excellent program. It's been an excellent switch. It's allowed me to really focus with my younger ones who really need that one-on-one -on -one time a lot more with all of their subjects while also allowing my older children to work a little bit more independently. And it's also help, helped us transition to an even more Charlotte Mason homeschool. I'm definitely not a Charlotte Mason purist by any means. Um, we've used My Father's World for several years, which has a lot of Charlotte Mason inspired elements. It also has some classical inspired elements and um, unit studies and things like that. So we've kind of just been a mishmash of all of those different philosophies and that's okay. That's what's worked for us. Um, I'm still kind of continuing along with adding different things that are not necessarily Charlotte Mason um, and that's okay. But I do want to do more narration, more copy work from our reading, and of course, lots and lots of living books. So that's what we've done. My fifth grader is a very advanced reader, so he has had no issues with taking on the readings on his own. Um, I mentioned in my last video how even though I think our switch did really well last year, um, it was a hard year for us just because of lots and lots of sickness, different sicknesses um, every few weeks. So we kind of struggled to get through everything last year. Um, I'm praying and hoping that this school year is going to be better. It's not going to be as challenging, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to show you guys what I have pulled out for him so far. Um, keep in mind, some of his curriculum is still up in the attic. I'm going to be getting that, that stuff down in a couple of weeks. Some of his curriculum is digital so i will mention all of that if you see me referring to my notes it's because i got a lot of kids i got a lot of curriculum i gotta have notes to remember it all so let's go ahead and dive in okay so let's start with religious education he is going to be using um credo i believe from the faith and life series this is for catechism and then he is also going to be reading this book independently if you've watched my previous videos, then you know that I'm reading this book to my kindergartner this year, but my fifth grader will be reading this one independently. And this is sort of a New Testament study. It also walks through the rosary. Okay, so for geography this year, he's going to be continuing his Hauling Sea Hauling um, books. He did Seabird and um, Paddle to the Sea last school year. So this school year he's going to be doing Tree in the Trail and Men of the Mississippi. I haven't ordered that one yet. That's going to come later on in the school year, but I went ahead and got him Tree in the Trail. For science this year, he is going to be doing a human body um, study. So Along with Science in Ancient Rome and Blood and Guts, he will also be using Galen and the Gateway to Medicine and the Body Book, both of which we use with our My Father's World curriculum. Those two books are up in my attic, so I'm going to get those down for him as soon as possible. For literature this year, he is going to be doing um, a mythology study. So he's going to read the Children's Homer, which is another book that I've got up in the attic followed by the Aeneid um, for boys and girls. And then for his just free reading for literature, I'm getting him started with Where the Red Fern Grows. I haven't decided 100% what other books he's gonna read this school year for his literature studies. Um, I choose one for each term. So this is his term one book. Um, he's currently finishing up Hatchet. He really loves stories like that. So if you have any recommendations for great literature along those lines of like Hatchet or even Where the Red Fern Grows, which I know this one, I told him this one's going to break his heart. This was like one of the very first chapter books that I ever read and that just had me bawling. But if you have a good suggestion, something that he would like, 
um, let me know, know down in the comments so I can get those scheduled for him for term two and term three. For history this year, he is going to be finishing up Our Island Story. I have that on my Scribd account, so he reads that on um, an e-reader. Um, he started it last year, and he's going to finish it this year. And then he's also going to be reading through Famous Men of Rome. Um, to go along with his Rome study, I'm going to have him read Detectives and Togas. That is another one that I've got up in the attic. A lot of his books are up in the attic right now, but... They will be coming down soon. Um, so that is what he's going to do for history. Math is not here. We've used teaching textbooks for years. He has requested to try something new. So I am probably going to have him take the placement test for the good and the beautiful to see how that goes. So we might try that with him. Um, it's more of a hands-on type curriculum and I think he might enjoy that more as opposed to, you know, something on a screen. I'm not really sure. Got a couple of weeks to figure out what we're gonna do for math for him. He is going to be doing um, a study of Africa this year. So he's gonna be doing some math work on Africa and he's gonna read a different um, book, African book, either a nonfiction or fiction book each term. So for term one, we have The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind and I think he's going to enjoy this one too. I'm kind of excited about that for him. And then finally, we're going to talk about language arts. So we're skipping back to language lessons for today for him. I believe I have a review video on this um, curriculum. I like it a lot. Like I said in my previous videos, the kids wanted to go back to the good and the beautiful. But then I think that they found it was just too overwhelming. Um, these lessons are short and sweet and simple. So we're doing that. And then for spelling, I got him spelling workout book E. Just something, a simple workbook that he can sit down and practice spelling. Um, he's an excellent advanced reader, but his spelling is not advanced. So he's going to be working on that. Another thing that's not pictured because it was back ordered, hopefully I'm getting it this week, is he is going to be using a Catholic handwriting workbook for cursive. Um, I use the Good and Beautiful workbooks for him, um, not last year, but the year before, the cursive workbook, and apparently it didn't stick because he still is not writing cursive very well and he can't read it. He requested on his own to learn cursive again. So we're gonna try it with the Catholic workbook and see how that goes. Um, I'm gonna try to check it, be more diligent about checking his work and making sure that he's getting it. Um, I also thought about adding typing to his workload this year, but I think he might resist it. I tried to get him to do typing last year and he said no, he didn't wanna do it. I'm gonna ask him if he wants to try it again this year. I have the typing books from The Good and the Beautiful. I have book one, two, and three. I'm gonna see if he wants to try it again this year. If not, maybe we'll do it next year. This child, my, my child that's in fifth grade right now, my son, he is extremely independent. I don't think I've really ever taught this kid anything. I've given him the materials and he's done what he's done on his own. He's taught himself how to read. I barely remember teaching him how to read. He was so resistant to it. He is completely stubborn um, and just, he's his own person. So, you know, if you have a child like that and you're worried that they're just so independent, they're not gonna get it because they don't wanna do what you want them to do. You know, there is a, there's a line um, with obedience and all of that stuff, but our kids are still, they're, they're born persons. They're their own people. I give him what he needs to be inspired. I have him do the assignments, whether he wants to do them or not. And a lot of times he ends up coming back to me later if it was something that he didn't want to do, like the cursive. He didn't want to learn it. Um, he's coming back to me and he's saying, hey, mom, I want to do it now. I want to learn it now. 
So, you know, it happens. Maybe it takes a little bit longer, but they seem to come around at some point. He did the same thing with learning this ABC song. I kid you not, I could not teach this child to sing the ABC song when he was little. He wanted nothing to do with it. He, I, I was teaching my um, child who's fixing to be in kindergarten the ABC song last year. And he's like, Mom, I don't know the ABC song. I said, I know you don't know the ABC song. You didn't want to learn the ABC song. You resisted it. He sat down with his five, four, five-year-old brother and learned the ABC song at nine years old. So, homeschooling is a journey. It's crazy. He would probably be labeled as something if he were in the public school system, but I'm not doing that. I'm not putting labels on my kids. The child is extremely smart. He, and he learns things that he wants to learn when he wants to learn them. So that's just how he is. He is my most strong-willed child out of all seven kids that I have. So that's just how it is. Just wanted to throw that out there. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Next week, I'm going to be sharing what I'm using for my seventh grader and what I'm going to be using for my ninth grader. My oldest child is starting high school. I don't, I don't think I'm ready for it, but I've got his curriculum figured out. So I'm excited to share those with you. And I'm also gonna share with you how I prep for a homeschool year. So I'll show you guys my teacher planner. And then um, a lot of you guys wanted to see my procedures list. I shared my kids binders last year. I don't think I had the procedures list ready. So I'm going to share all of that stuff with you guys um, next week. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.